Hey guys, GamerCandy here, coming at you today with a video about the Hallowed Sepulchre. You can access the Hallowed Sepulchre after finishing Sins of the Father and having access to Darkmire. <laughs> Hardly. A lot of people are having a lot of <laughs> A lot of people, uh, here's an example, are having trouble with this, uh, with this minigame. Um, and I, I wanted to put out a video to sort of help with that. Uh, he reckons floor three is fucked. I've done floor three loads of times. It actually it grows on you. Uh, it is it is difficult. Um, and I'm going to be showing you how to get past uh, it just now. So what I'm going to be doing is first taking my quick via watch noble outfit, just because I assume the person watching is not going to have uh, the teleports that I'm going to be using. 1800 marks for black. Yeah. That's probably true. Sword is sword. Uh, what a bro. Alright, in order to get to where we're going, we teleport to Darkmire. And we have to wear the noble outfit while we're here in order to bank, and in order to talk to any of the people here and not get attacked immediately. So if I, if I even put on like just the boots, I immediately get attacked. Your gear will consist mostly of graceful pieces, but we'll talk more about the gear when we get to, to where we're going. So you just run to the north of the city, and then run east, Okay, when we enter the Hallowed Sepulchre, the mausoleum doors. Alright, so once we come in here, we're going to go ahead and talk to this mysterious stranger here. And what we have to do is we ask him about the place and we ask him about himself. Um, go over and try to start a game, it should tell you what you need to talk to him about. Uh, and he will give you a couple of these teleport crystals. So let me just see if I can grab one here so we get like a Hallowed Crystal Shard. Yeah, these things will teleport you up to 20 wilds. Um, into this room from anywhere in the game. You don't need to be inside the game to use these, they work from anywhere in the world. So this means you can just come in here straight up and bank. You don't even need your Dark Mire outfit anymore, so you can just not wear that. So let's not wear it. I'm going to set up an inventory really quickly. Okay, that about ought to do it. Alright, so in your inventory what you should have is a couple of planks, let's say four oak planks and some nails. I honestly don't know if these are the correct nails and planks. If there's anything in my guide I'm not sure on, it's the planks, because I haven't actually used them yet. So you might see me use them and find out just about how exactly how, uh, these are the wrong things to get. What you definitely will need is these, vampire dust. You'll need loads of them. So go ahead and buy some from the GE. They're about two, three, four K each. Uh, they're, they're changing all the time, depending on like what the demand is. And I think they're actually going down because a lot of people don't like doing their Hallowed Sepulchre uh, because of the failure rate of a certain floor. We need ourselves an antidote plus plus. We'll grab two stone potions, a little bit of food, but not much. You don't really need your teleport out, so I can actually get rid of that. Uh, just for some inventory space. What you will need is a lockpick, uh, and you'll need some space for your hallowed marks that you'll be getting. Uh, and then that should do us for the inventory there. Just check that there, so then... I'm trying to sort this out so it looks like decent. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crappy. In your rune pouch, which you, I expect you to take, you'll take combo runes, so mist runes and dust runes and cosmics. This will allow you to use... In fact, I don't really need the mist runes. Uh, you can just take water runes. Okay, so you just need runes to enchant every single type of enchant, I assume. I'm not really sure. I just, yeah, <laughs> I haven't, haven't ever failed it uh, since I brought this. So just cosmic runes and combination runes that cover your earth and air and water, and then I bring a tome of fire to cover the fire runes. So you can also bring um, steam runes instead of uh, water runes there, depending on what. You can also bring lava runes, which are really cheap. Uh, and then I guess you would need mist runes after that. Anyway, you will need a crossbow and a grapple. I have a hallowed grapple here. You don't need a hallowed grapple yourself. Um, everything else should be graceful. You can bring an HP cape and a regen bracelet if you've been taking a lot of damage, which you could want to do. Explorer's ring is good. Ring of endurance is obviously better, but you don't really have one of those yet. Uh, you need to go ahead and get some loot. I've got 100 hallowed marks here and I'm thinking about buying um, myself something, but honestly, I think the things to get here is the grapple. Um, the token is is a bit iffy. You might want to take that if you're really running out of time and you and you can't really improve your time. Um, the hallowed symbol seems like it would be quite good. 
In fact, I'm actually tempted to buy it right now, but I don't think I will because it just saves you a bit of money. That's really all it really does. Uh, the hammer is all right, but it's terrible actually. The ring is what you really want. This prevents damage from the traps and also it will teleport you um, uh, slightly back. So basically it'll reduce the amount of time you get when you fail. You can enter from either the east or west entrance. We're going in the east entrance just because it's the one I like. The floor you get though is random, so don't try to do this with a teammate and try, <laughs> and try to do it together because it's RNG whether you actually get matched together or not. One of the first obstacles you run into is these boys. So wizard statues which will cast flames every now and then. Sometimes they won't, sometimes they will. It's all about the patterns. Uh, the idea is yeah, just don't stand on them. You are able to skip uh, three boys by clicking at the correct time, but until you, until you get used to it, just use the destroyed statues as your safe spots. The Sara swords are often really safe to run in front of before he throws them and after he throws them as well, as long as you don't get hit by it because you run into it. We've got these crossbowmen who will shoot one crossbow. They'll do a little animation before they do, and you'll see which one is about to throw. So now it's going to be the one on the left. He's going to shoot, etc. And these get more complicated or both of them will shoot at the same time. Okay, let's try to fix this broken bridge. I need a hammer and two planks and five steel nails, two egg planks. Oh, so steel and oak, mithril and teak, adamant and mahogany, and rune. Two planks and five, so I just need regular planks. I brought the wrong planks. That's a big rip there, okay. Anyway, uh, if you bring your Saradomen item, which you, I expect you to bring, um, you can pray at these and get your run energy back to full. You can also exit. That was a new personal best for that floor? I stopped and talked. Oh my god, that's insane. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, so then we're getting into the looting here. So this is one of the looting obstacles up here, the grapple pillar. Let me just run around this sword here. So you come up to these and you'll just go ahead and click on the grapple and you'll shoot out with your bow. And hopefully I don't fail. Yeah, the fail rate's actually quite high, which is why I got myself the uh, hallowed grapple to reduce the fail rate. Uh, I assume your agility level also has something to do with it. And we made it at that time, okay. So we're going to search it for traps and we might get poisoned here. So a Serp Helm is also an item you could bring. However, we got in and we got a hallowed mark and some adamant bolts. So that was about uh, 30k right there. Easy money. I have managed to get myself a lockpick so far and I have about uh, 42 completions at the upper level. I got it at 37. These are teleports. The yellow ones will teleport you backwards. If they are blue, they'll teleport you forward slightly. Um, sometimes you're able to run over them without them actually teleporting you. Uh, but yeah, these are really good for dodging. Once you get used to them, you can start using them for that. So I've dodged here because this is where none of the statues are. And then I just run past the both of those. You have to anticipate with the tick sometimes. Uh, with this one here, we can just stand right there. When he catches it, we can just go. And I'll chuck the sword after us. Once you get to these here, it'll pause your timer. And I haven't talked about the timer yet, but there is a timer. You only have a certain amount of time on each floor. If you have extra time after you've finished a floor, you're able to actually um, bring that to the next floor. So it'll add whatever time it is for the next level to the amount of time you have left. And that was a new personal best as well. All right. Um, okay. Oh shit, I got a grapple pillar over there. Okay, so with these ones you gotta click on yeah one specific tile out of the three. Apparently I've done 49 completions of this floor. I haven't done that many of the upper floors because you run out of time. So if you run out of time, uh, what'll happen is that none of the chests will have loot in them anymore. Uh, and the door will actually close. This door here will close and you won't be able to get through it to the next level, even if you have the agility level requirement for it. Uh, with these ones, yeah, you just got to learn the patterns of where they're going to be. That's just sort of what done by observing them. Technically, you can one tick run through the whole thing. Um, well, not one tick, but <laughs> it takes you more than one tick. But you got to click on the correct tick uh, to do that. Alright, so a classic here. Just look at their animations and sort of anticipate where they're going to be. So we're looking for the middle, nope, that way, yep, there we go. Ah, we've got our conjure portal frame. So this is what the enchant runes were for. 
we uh, notice the thing's already looted though, so I'm not actually going to go in there, but you can conjure it, and there is a chance to fail, you take some damage, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something you can do to get more loot. Every time you loot one of those, you have a chance of getting a hallowed mark. And here we have it. This is the hardest room in the, in the shop because it combines uh, these flame traps with these arrows. So you basically gotta have eyes every every direction. The first thing I recommend you do is just get to stand here and just get used to these arrows. Just watch them on your left hand side. And apparently that click didn't register. So we're gonna go to the middle and we're gonna stand here. As far as these guys, they're gonna alternate one by one. So you can see you can step forward once. But actually because the game works a little bit um, because of because of how much time you actually have, you can actually run past more than one. You can go to multiple. I'm not gonna get past the first row if I keep explaining this trap. You can technically run to the third row. You can even go to the fourth one if you think you have time. As you can see, yeah, it's, it's not it's not such a hard time after all. Ah oh, damn. It's only because I'm I feel stressed about demonstrating this and with no time left, so let's see, I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna be able to complete this today. So I'm gonna need to go run up. Down to the middle. To the top. Don't need to go down to the bottom, but wait till we get there. Yep. Back to the middle, and then we're out. Once we get to this platform here, it pauses the timer, so we're running <laughs> very short on time. But luckily we'll be able to show you the whole sepulchre. Once again, you can um, use your obelisk there. How is that a new personal best? That's a... Don't you mean, like, because I took so long? That's it. I guess it's the, like, when you add all the times up together, it's the new personal best? So just because it did really well on that first floor. Okay, so this is a combination of the sword trap, the Sara sword trap, with the teleport trap. But this time they're the blue trap, so you, you can use these to boost forward. A, a way I like to complete this one is waiting here, and then when the Sara sword comes back, you just teleport past it. But you can just run that, you don't need to teleport. So using these teleports to your advantage uh, is a thing you can do. Mostly I'm just looking like several tiles ahead of where I need to be. Yeah, so you can do that one fairly easily. Alright, this is the perfect time to do this. When does that double flame thing? That means you can go. Alright, we, we were a bit too late there. Now we can technically pick this up, but we're not going to. But yeah, so what they'll do is they'll alternate just like the other one. So they'll alternate. They'll alternate. They alternate again. Nope, they're doing a double. So they do a double here. And you can run just to there. You can run a bit farther than this, but I'm not going to because of safety. But you have to get out of here um, in a specified amount of time because otherwise they'll do that double on you and you'll get screwed over by that. So you're always clicking where the flame uh, isn't. <laughs> Sorry, where the flame was before is where the flame isn't going to be. See, that was actually just, that was the last time I could have done that. I was too late. I was too, um, too slow with that. Okay, so we're going to stay in the middle. We got teleport traps at the same time as the arrow traps. And then we get lightning traps at the same time. Now, lightning traps, they'll just stun you. They won't actually do anything. But in here, getting stunned is really bad because then you can't move out of the way of the arrows. <laughs> but we're through that one. Right now I can show you the conjure portal frame. So we'll cast a spell, and then we'll click on it. You can fail that and take a little bit of damage, doesn't really matter. Oh, because we are because we just ran out of time literally just then, I can't open this chest. So there's an example of that. If you run out of time, you can't open that chest. So we're doing the rest of this uh, level for no loot. Um, best not use your vile bones on the sacrificing Sarah of Ambrasia when you have no time left. Alright, time to go. Time to go. <laughs> so we're just trying to avoid those traps at the same time as teleporting forward to get ourselves out of the way of that sword, which stops just there. This is probably one of the worst things on the other side. 
uh, because on the other side you can actually get teleported back into the trap and shot with an arrow, which really sucks. Uh, as you can see the door here is closed. Now I wouldn't be able to go in there anyway because I only have 87 agility, I don't have 92 yet. It's actually kind of dangerous having this much loot on me, but anyway. You can use your obelisk there and then teleport out. And you get about 3k XP on this level. And we'll see if we get a different set of rooms. Okay, looks like we did. It's possible you go on a circuit, I'm not actually quite sure on that. As you can see, it's going to be just this one on the right here. Alright, so we can go to here. We can go to there. And where can we run to? We could technically like run to like just here. You see that? You actually have a little bit more time than you think you do, because you can, like the animation when it's still up, you can still run through it. Can we grapple? Yes we can. Now you can't always do these obstacles, they won't always have the option for you to use them, but when they do, uh, you can take a shot. Now, because the amount of time that it takes you to do a level contributes to the amount of XP you get at the end, doing this uh, is technically losing you XP per hour but you are trying to get those marks, those hallowed marks. I'm trying to get the 250 so that when I fail an obstacle, um, I can just do that quick teleport thing, which is going to be good. After that, the only thing I'm going to use these for is you can get poisoned, there's a fail. Um, and we open a coffin and we get a prayer potion. So sometimes you get sandfew potions, which is really cool. Sandfew serums, you can get two of them out of here, which is like straight up 30k, nice and easy. Anyway, so if you're wearing a 7 ton helm, I assume that you don't need to cure yourself, but I'm going to hit cure, so that I'm, yep, cool. Alrighty, we're just doing one at a time on the left hand side, and we're good to dodge that one now. Nice and easy. There's a Sarasaur trap next to one of these teleport you back traps. No worries, so you can run behind the sword or in front of the sword, doesn't matter which one, and you can get past that. Because I've got my vampire dust on me, I can use this brazier here, always check to see if you can click on the thing, because you, you won't always be able to. And secondly, the chest may already be looted, so check for the chest to be uh, open or closed. So we'll open that one, we get ourselves a hallowed mark and an adamant plate body, which we can then go ahead and alf with our explorer's ring. Okay, we're moving on to the next level. Well, not the next level. Okay, so we just got another crossbowman trap, so we're just going to run through the middle. And middle's dangerous, so we move to the left. Yeah, and we're good. And we're done this level. So it'll pause the timer now. And we'll just get our run energy back and we'll jump in. Okay, with these here, you can actually skip, like I said before, you can skip three statues at a time. Although it makes it a little bit easier when they do that. So I'll just prove that you can skip it from here. And you can like do that. Yeah, that was, just, that was just me proving that, so. Got the blessed Sarah sword coming in. Right, then they start to do the combination traps, which are really cool. So we've got this one here, which the teleports and the arrows at the same time. We're going to have to go to the middle next, so we're going to go to the middle. We have to go to the left, so we're going to go to the left. We'll go to the middle now, and we can teleport forward, and we can run over there. And we're safe. We can run past the sword. We've got another brazier we can do. Right, so this this pattern here is that you can't go. You can go two forward after this. And then after that you can run the whole thing. Remember that you can run three at the same time. You can you can probably run four at the same time, it's just always safer to go for uh, three. And pass through here. New personal best for that last level as well. That's cool. So we got two marks that time and two Grammy Renard Weeds. I believe you get more, or you get a chance at getting more marks the higher up levels you go. So watch for the shot and then we come here. I'm going to click there where the last one was and then into the middle. Still in the middle. We need to go to the top and we're going to go just there. Now we're going to go to the middle once we get there. I'm going to click just here and we can go to the bottom and then we can get out of here. 
Yeah, so there's, there, you can do those with less clicks, and I have been, have done them with less clicks before, but it's always um, you know good to just be safe. Uh, if you don't have a Sarah Dominant item on you, I think I mentioned this earlier, uh, you cannot pray to that. Alright, this one's tricky because this guy doesn't shoot and then he does now. But there's a gap in the middle which changes, the gap changes where it is. So the second time it runs, there'll be a bigger gap. Uh, okay, so the lightning, yeah, it'll stun you but you can just sort of walk around it. And there'll be little wizards casting it, I assume is what they're doing. I missed out on this one here, but... The solve for this particular knight puzzle with the wizards uh, is that we wait for it to come back and once he throws it we can go, so let's wait for him to throw it. Okay, and you go just before the flames and then you can keep going. Nice and easy. Uh, here we're going to run straight into the middle just now and then off to the left and then back into the middle again. Now I'm going to start to watch the statues. Now I'll go to the left. I'm going to go to the middle. Watching the statues very carefully. It's still in the middle and we're right through. Alright, so we could potentially fix this broken bridge if we brought the correct nails, etc. But I don't have them, so I don't know what to do about that. You need different nails and different planks, so I just really couldn't be bothered. Okay, this one's really rough. So, there are two ways to do this one. You can follow the sword, or you can have the sword uh, chase you. I like to just have the sword chase me. Um, you don't want to get stunned, because you will get destroyed. Then you can use the teleports to get you ahead of where you were before, and then it's really clutch. But yeah, no, this one's... That one's really rough. Uh, but there is a path through it. <coughs> okay, so we're going to go to the far left. So we're following some more teleports. I told you about this one before, about this one being really difficult. Somehow I managed to live through that. The arrows are technically slightly behind where they are, I believe, is the idea. Just because of how RuneScape works, really. And we can technically run out of this. Yeah, cool. Now, the most careful spot to be <laughs> is just there. Never get stuck by that one. That one will, will really burn you. This, this, this here will jump you back into those and you'll get shot. And then you'll uh, get knocked back. So we can use this one. We're using all of our vampire dust now. We're through, and we're going to loot this thing. We get four hallowed marks. Really nice, and two grammy runner weed. A lot of grammy runner weed. So we're getting some sick loot from the sepulchre here. Now, if you try to go down this level, it'll say I need 92 agility. And there's my 3k XP finishing the level. Okay, so that was the hallowed sepulchre. Um, I guess I'm going to keep going and see if I get some different traps, different entrances, just to vary things up for the video, and I'll probably get some more dust. I haven't worked out everything to do with this place yet. There are some chests which I'm not sure if you can loot, or places I'm not sure why you'd want to go there. Um, but yeah, I still have, I've seen people wandering around different places. Honestly, once you get to the third level and you do that that one puzzle with the, the flames, uh, just stay there for as long as you can and just practice the hell out of that thing because once you get it down, that can be one of the easier, well not easier puzzles, it, it, it can just be another puzzle, like every other one. I'm definitely working my way up to 250 to get that um, 
there into the middle. I'm gonna run up there and then this way. I'm gonna try for there. And you, and you are able to do that. That's really cool. And then you can get out of here. So you can do four. It's just um, it, you gotta be really, really perfect. <laughs> that's, that's all it is. One of my favorite ways to do this one is to teleport. No. Oh, damn. Yeah, so it's really nice teleporting in front of that sword, but I can prove it to you that you don't need to use it, although I might accidentally teleport. Yeah. You can just sort of out, outrun it and then just run to the right here. And he's out of there. You should be able to get to like the fifth one here or something. It's just really clutch. So you like you didn't need to take that risk. Seeing a lot of people being like downtrodden on this thing and being upset with it and like thinking it's not that good, but I think it's like a terrific update. I think it's a really cool way to do agility. Um, and yeah, some of the things need to be like buffed, like the XP rate would be really nice to be buffed, but uh, I, I'm happy with it currently. How much XP have I gained here? I've gained like 300k XP, and that's from like doing raids in the middle of things as well. I haven't actually paused that since. So I can't actually tell what the actual agility XP rate is. <laughs> He's just like, what? <laughs> oh, and that's, uh, that's bad news for that guy. <laughs> That is a new person of best of floor 4, that is sick. Oh shit. Yeah, I clicked too far, I thought I did. Is it going to send me to halfway? It does send me to halfway, that's very nice of them.
Yeah, definitely a heavy recommend to the Hallowed Grapple because not failing those feels great and failing them sucks. It's really nice when things combo together so you can just keep running. It makes you look super professional as well. You just click once and go past like three different traps. So it's important when you get to the end there not to cross the, arrow, the stream of the arrows, just let them go past you because otherwise you might end up running into them even though it looks like you've already passed them. That was a new personal best, that was actually a sick run. Alright, so looking for the double flame attack, when is that going to happen? There it is. So we're gonna go to here. Oh no, we're not. We're gonna go. The, yeah, we're gonna go there. He is way too slow. He's gonna get destroyed. All right, we're about to watch this guy die. Unless he picks it up. There it is. <laughs> ah, damn. Ah, uh, so close. So close. He enjoyed it anyway, it was a fun time for everyone involved. <laughs> Anticipated the sit. Uh, I actually know this guy. I've seen him I've seen him the GE a bunch. The thing about 2K Turtle Worlds is that you like you always know the people you run into as lunch lately. Even the PKers and things. Now, I've talked to Big Game, so now there's like pressures on to not fail in front of him, which is really rough. So let's see how that goes. Hello, sir. Go. He's he's out of it. Now I can tell him to sit. It's too late for me though. I didn't have time. And that's why we save the stuff because... Oh, that's already looted. Yeah, it's already looted. Probably isn't any treasure left, so we don't try for that. And there's our 3k XP. Alright, I'm gonna head back to Arty Agility Course and get some more uh, graceful sets. Uh, and get to 92 agility. That way I'll be able to come back here and do this the most efficient way and probably make another video on the next level. But hopefully this video has helped you somewhat in completing uh, <laughs> there he goes, in completing the Hallowed <laughs> Sepulchre. Uh, he's looking at his PBs over here. Yeah, PBs. Send them. Alrighty, well um, that's gonna do it for me today. So hopefully you guys enjoy. I'm going to put this video together and then I'm probably going to go to sleep at some point. Who knows? Um, yeah, it's a good time. Hallowed Sepulchre, get into it. Uh, get running. Uh, I recommend 82 agility if not 92. Um, although if you do have 72 agility, you can get to the level where you can practice that uh, third level obstacle with the flames and the arrows, which <laughs> seems to just take out a whole mess of people. I wish I had a video from that day. My video files got corrupted, uh, so I don't actually have that. But yeah, so this is the Howard Sepulchre. There's obviously more to learn. Uh, check out the wikis, check other people doing it. Um, people are saying it's bad. I think that they're just not getting a lot of marks of grace, sorry, Howard marks per hour. And uh, I'm actually, I feel like I'm getting a, a few because however long this video is, I've gotten uh, just over just over 40 um, or just under 40 uh, in that time and I wasn't doing any of the bridge completions which will also get you more marks obviously 
Anyway, um, that's it from me today. So good luck, enjoy. Hopefully you get the agility pet on the way to 99 agility and hopefully you're able to get enough <laughs> enough hallowed marks to uh, get everything you need in here. And uh, I'm gonna definitely go for that um, uh, the hallowed ring when I can get it, which is the, the ring which prevents damage and also teleports you back to safety. And that really helps you with those, pet, uh, those best times and not losing time. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Last note, there is a plugin um, on the plugin hub of Runelight called Sepulchre, which highlights the swords and highlights the arrows. So you can see where they're coming at you, which I think I imagine is going to be pretty helpful on level 3. So go ahead and chuck that in if you want to use it.